I'm Cynthia Sinclair, the host of Finding Respect in the Chaos. I'm the retired United Methodist minister and the lay leader of my church. Since Roe fell, so many questions, so many people asking questions. They want to know, what does God think? And because there's so much confusion in the church these days, they're not even asking, what does the church think anymore? Most of them, they're asking, what does God think? And that's actually the right question. What does God think? The favorite sermon that I gave when I was a minister, the title was God Hates Religion, which didn't go over real well with my Southern congregation at first until I got into the meat of the sermon. Because God is about a relationship. He's not about religion. One of my favorite quotes these days from a local pastor here is that, you know, when I have to choose between my church or my religion and my neighbor, I'm going to choose my neighbor because Jesus didn't tell us to choose our church and to love our church. He told us to love our neighbor and to take care of our neighbor. And so, I think that's an important question to ask. How many wars have been started in the name of religion? How many religious leaders committed patricide and, and infanticide back in the days? Many stories in the Bible. People are confused. I don't know all the answers. But I do know my own personal experience, my own personal relationship with God. My first marriage was filled with domestic violence. I finally, finally got up the nerve to leave my ex-husband. Before the divorce was final and all of that, he kind of came and broke into my house. He raped me. I fought back. I said no. I ended up pregnant. This man was a dangerous, destructive, violent man. My kids were not safe. I wasn't safe. I wasn't about to bring another baby into the world with a father like that. And I didn't want to do anything that was going to interfere with my ability to be a mom to the two kids I had. I was a Christian. I prayed and I prayed and I went to God on my knees. What do I do? And I had this wonderful epiphany that I know came from God. I was giving my baby back to him to spare that child. I gave my baby back to God because my baby was going to be safer in heaven than on this earth. And I got peace. I don't regret my decision. I know that God was right there with me, wrestling through all of it and loving me through all of it. And I want that message to get out to people. I want them to know that God loves them right where they are, even though the church on earth is screaming that they are sinners and that they're going to go to hell for the decisions that they made, maybe when they were young or maybe are trying to make now. Evangelicals are dangerous people. America was formed, I'm sorry, freedom of religion, yet they cry patriot. And I think, why? When what you're doing is the exact opposite, they must not have been paying attention when US history was being taught in their high school because we left England so that we could have freedom of religion, not state-forced theocracy. The Supreme Court is broken. And right now, our government is still pretty broken too. And this coming up election is more important than any election we've ever had in our lives. Maybe, possibly, in the history of America. Susan B. Anthony, RBG, too many people to count. 
have dedicated their lives to being, sorry, it chokes me up. Women power is a strong thing, but we need to stand strong. We need to stand firm and we need to stand up. Every woman that supports women's rights needs to stand up. Every man that supports women's rights needs to stand up because together we can make a difference. We can change things. Thank you for listening. I'm Cynthia Sinclair. This was Think Tech Hawaii. I appreciate you being here with me.